you have to learn to set a time. Now, there are two ways to do this. One way um, is about you praying because um, there are things you should pray about. All right? So you set a time because there are things you should pray about, whether they have to do with you or with other people. Or whatever it is, you got to pray about these things. So what to pray about? For that reason, you're setting a time. But I did another thing for myself, which is number two, and I suggest it to you. I chose certain times of prayer so that I could become a disciplined praying person, whether or not I had something to pray about. This is what the Bible means when it tells us about godliness. It says, add godliness. You know, why godliness? Godliness is talking about godly piety. You see it? Piety. There's something about one that is a child of God that has some spiritual discipline. So it, it had nothing to do with, oh, I got to pray about this. No. I wanted to make sure that I had a disciplined prayer life. Even as a Christian, not just a minister, as a Christian. So I carried that discipline over into my life as a minister. See, you have to have a, a habitual prayer life. Don't be wanting in prayer. You'll be amazed at how this will help you. It will transform your, your, your way of doing things for God. There's, there's a, a relationship with God that you'll be encouraged that you have. Why? Because you would notice you are now functioning like Jesus. Jesus was a praying person. Like the apostles, they were praying people. You're now like them. There was a life. They had a lifestyle. See? And you have to copy them. The Bible says, be ye imitators of God as beloved children. Imitators of God. Copy them. How can you copy God? By copying Jesus and the apostles. So they've shown us. All people who ever became close with me are praying people. They love to pray. They're praying people. You can't take prayer away from them. They love to pray. Prayer is important. Say, so don't wait until there's a problem. And don't say, I don't know what to pray for. No, discipline yourself then. And pray. Pray in tongues. Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. I just told you that apart from having to pray about things that are definite, I also had prayer for a disciplined prayer life. So there, I don't have anything to ask God. I'm not praying about anything. So I worship, I pray in tongues, I worship, I pray in tongues. Then sometimes maybe the Holy Spirit will bring something to my heart, you know, to pray about, but that was not my purpose. So whether or not he brought something to my heart to pray about, it didn't matter. I was going to pray. And I was going to pray for the period. That's another thing. Definite times of prayer. How long are you going to pray? Are you going to just bow your knees and just get up because you are tired? No. It's a discipline. That's what I'm talking about. Because we're discussing towards maturity. See, that's what we're talking about. Is that our subject? Mm -hmm. 
Say, you're going on towards